Crow is one of the oldest legendaries inside of Brawl Stars, and after all of these years, he is still so toxic. Today, I'm going to be giving you guys a full rundown on how to play Crow. Let's go. Alright, so first off, let's go ahead and start off with Crow's build. Alright, so for Crow's gadget, you guys want to be using Slow and Toxin, the extra toxic star power, and the damage gear plus his mythic gear enduring toxins. Now, in case you guys don't know what the slowing toxin gadget is, it's basically all currently poisoned enemies are slowed for 3 seconds. Now, the reason I believe Slow and Toxin is the better gadget is because it's going to make it so much easier for you to deal more damage and since they're going to be slowed for a couple of seconds it's going to make it easier for you to try and chain supers and just chip people down a lot quicker now if you guys don't know what crow's extra toxic star power does crow's poison saps the strength of enemies who deal 25 percent less damage while poisoned so again, this is just a very good combination with his slowing toxin gadget. But the reason that this gadget is so good is because for the most part, Crow doesn't deal a whole ton of damage, especially when you're hitting people with only like one or two daggers per bar of ammo. So the fact that you can make the enemies deal 25% less damage every time they're poisoned, is just going to help Crow and your teammates to just stay alive a little bit longer. I guess you can kind of think of it as like leveling out the playing field because since Crow doesn't deal a whole ton of high DPS from a far distance, you can also decrease the DPS that the enemies do so that it's on a more even playing field now for crow's gear i think the damage gear is going to be better overall because he just needs to deal more damage i literally just got done talking about how crow doesn't do a lot of damage and that's why you need to use the extra toxic star power and of course with any brawler in the game I mean, you can't go wrong with dealing more damage am i right so damage gear is going to be good for crow here and the last thing for crow's build you guys can't go wrong by using his mythic gear if you guys don't know what enduring toxins is basically it just increases crow's poison damage by 30 percent so i mean this is just a disgusting combination if you combine this with extra toxic not only only are you going to be sapping the damage that the enemies do, you'll be also dealing more damage yourself. So Crow overall is just going to be dealing more damage per poison dagger. And this is just why Crow is such a toxic brawler. With this mythic gear, it's like, it's crazy how much damage you can do and just chip people away that much faster. And all you good crow players out there know that in order to just play crow well, you just gotta make sure that the enemies are constantly poisoned. But right now that we got his build out of the way, let's go ahead and talk about some of his best game modes. Alright, so the first game mode I'm gonna talk about here is Showdown. The reason that he's super good in Showdown is because, I mean, crow for the longest time has been such a solid Showdown brawler. But it's mainly because he can just stand his ground so well by keeping his distance and chipping people from a distance. He can be very good in the early game by just getting people away from boxes and you can just scare people. Crow is just such a solid showdown brawler because as long as he can keep his distance, just keep on poisoning people, staying away from bushes, and just keeping his health up, then you guys should be winning quite a bit of games in showdown. Alright, the next game mode I'm going to talk about here is Brawl Ball. Now, the reason I bring up Brawl Ball is because he is one of those brawlers that can self-pass to himself using his super. For example, Crow can kick the ball forward and he can go ahead and jump to where the ball is going to be kicked. A lot of the more intermediate to advanced players know that self-passing in Brawl Ball is a good way to just catch your opponents off guard and can be a great way to score some easy goals but also a lot of the brawl ball maps have bushes and it's gonna be good for crow to play on generally maps that have bushes you're just gonna be a very valuable asset to your team so that your poison keeps the enemies visible well i guess what i'm trying to say is as long as you're playing crow on any map that has bushes or is open up for the most part then you should be finding quite a bit of success playing crow anywhere but all right that's pretty much all i got for crow's best game modes. let's go ahead and talk about the best tips and tricks now all right so i was already elaborating a little bit earlier about keeping your distance and poking people away what i want to talk about is when you're poisoning people and they're running away use your quick movement speed to dodge the enemy's incoming attacks even though crow is slowly chipping people away you want to focus on you dodging the enemy's attacks mostly because the other brawlers that you're going to be playing against will deal more damage against you than the amount of damage you can deal in a matter of a second you want to make sure that you can survive because they're the ones that's not going to be healing up here so as long as you are constantly applying that pressure pushing them back gaining control then you should be the one staying alive and they should be the ones slowly dying and dealing less damage also you guys need to make sure that you guys are taking advantage of crow's fast reload speed and fast unload speed and this just again makes it so much easier for him to be very toxic where he can just keep that pressure keep them poisoned and prevent them from healing up and since it does take quite a bit of daggers to charge up his super having this quicker reload speed will make it very helpful for you to try and charge your super now in case you guys didn't know crow's poison will actually extend the amount of damage that the enemies will be taking by four seconds and 
also stacked onto this, it takes a total of three seconds for a brawler to heal up by self-healing. So the total amount of time now in order for a brawler to heal up after taking one shot from Crow is seven seconds. So if a brawler wants to heal up after getting hit by Crow, they're gonna have to wait seven full seconds in order for them to start self-healing again. This just makes it extremely difficult for them to try and cause any amount of pressure because they're just gonna slowly be chipped away and you know people don't really realize it but you are taking damage. Just make sure that you are constantly being as annoying as possible and just being a nuisance to the enemies. Well anyway guys I think that's gonna go to conclude today's video. Mahalo nui loa, ahui ho, kako, see you guys in the next one.